Hello and welcome. My name is Steve True from Excel-BoardTemplates.com. Please visit our blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques using Excel. All right, today uh, we're going to be looking at this 3D column chart. Uh, I once worked for a company where they paid bonuses and they wanted to show uh, all the staff where we are compared to our actual bonus targets. And they chose to use a 3D column chart. So a lot of people don't like 3D uh, at all, and uh, there's a few reasons why. We won't go into that, all of that just now. Uh, but they presented this chart, and this chart had that uh, in March we had hit 100% of our bonus so far uh, target. But you'll see the line here for the uh, chart at the major grid line for 100. Follow it along and look at that. The one that says we're at 100 sure looks like to me uh, that we are below 100. Actually, every one of these are below the line. So um, can actually be kind of deceiving. Are we at 100? Are we below 100? Is it being rounded up for the label? What's going on here? So as you can see over here in my data from the actual chart, uh, we are uh, actually doing um, 100 there. So why is this showing below that? Well, let me go ahead and show you how to fix that and also show you another technique related to that. So uh, we've got our data here. So I've got January through December from 70 up through 120. And then right around 100, I'm showing some different points, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, and 102. Uh, so we can check out those lines. So what we want to do is highlight our data range. We're going to go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to go to our column chart and we're going to select the 3D cluster column chart. Um, and here it is right there. Uh, and if you zoom in here you'll see July, which July is at 100. Here's July. And look, it's below the 100 major line again. Uh, August we have as 101. August looks like it's at 100. And September looks like it's a little over 100 at maybe 101, but it's actually 102. So, uh, how can we fix that? Um, let's. Uh, what we want to do is it's a real easy fix for a 3D column chart. Just right click on it uh, on any one of the series, and then you have a dialog box that pops up here, a menu, I should say, Format Data Series. Uh, and then let's go ahead and move this over so you can see it just a little bit more. There is a a series option called gap depth. You don't see this on 2D column charts because there is no depth, um, but if we actually move this all the way over to no gap, click on close, let's take a look at the chart. Here's July, and look at that. Looks Sure looks like July is now at 100, uh, right on the nose. June is just below, August is just above. Um, so you can see that we can uh, quickly and easily fix that problem by changing it to no gap depth. For some reason that depth adds a little bit of space in there uh, in between the grid line and your series and that ends up showing uh, a little bit of a space which looks like it's not at the line. Uh, the other fix for this, uh, if you like 3D charts you're not going to like this one. Um, it's very difficult to see where your 3D charts are. The best way is to really go and do an um, insert menu uh, and change um, or go to the layout, uh, design ribbon and do change chart type and let's make that a 2D clustered column chart and uh, look at that. Actually let's just delete it and show you right from the start. If I highlight this, go up to the insert ribbon, column, a 2D clustered column, bring that over into the window here, you'll see that July is right at 100 and the other ones are just slightly above and just slightly below it can be very difficult to see those uh, iterations in a 3D column chart so first thing I'd always recommend do a 2D column chart uh, but if you're going to be forced to do the 3D column chart let's change this to a 3D click on OK um, you'll see once again July is just slightly below that right click on it format data series change the gap to no gap click on close, and lo and behold, you're going to match up with that line uh, on your major grid line. So uh, once again, this is Steve True with Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit our blog regularly and sign up for our YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques. Thank you.